wanted to answer a question from questionsfromatheists.blogspot.com. So here's the question. Why are there no Roman records of Jesus? This is a really good question. So the silence of antiquity is what this is often called. It goes something like the Roman Empire kept extensive records. So why is Jesus's trial and crucifixion not recorded? Why did Pontius Pilate not write about Jesus? Why didn't Herod's court make a record of Jesus? Often a string of ancient names who are contemporaries of Jesus will be listed and then it will be pointed out that none of them mentioned Jesus. Now that's kind of like pulling a hundred books from the 1920s off the shelves of the library and saying, none of these books mention Babe Ruth, so he must not have actually existed. The bottom line is very few records from that time have survived. Even Pontius Pilate himself only has a few surviving references that verify his historical existence. We only have one reference to Pontius Pilate by a Roman historian, and that reference was only there to give a frame of reference to who the sect of Christians were. So the only reference to Pontius Pilate is in reference to Jesus, in a way, indirectly. So most of what we know about Pontius Pilate actually comes from the Bible. There are a couple of things we need to remember. Jesus was only famous with a very small amount of people within his lifetime. Why would anyone write about him outside those who were his followers? Secondly, we don't know whether Pontius Pilate or Herod or any other Roman officials ever wrote about Jesus because so many of the Roman records did not survive. There may have been records about him, but we don't have any of the notes or records from Pilate's administration kept from, the time, from that time frame. Be, uh, be sure you caught that line, they are gone, burned, eradicated, non-existent. This is the case with most of the documents and records of that time. The only way documents survive through the centuries is if they are copied. Copying had to be done by hand. It was expensive. Only the most important documents would be kept. Why would the execution record of a of one so-called insurrectionist survive. After all, people were being executed by the thousands all over the empire. This sounds like an intelligent argument until you understand what small number of documents have actually survived through the centuries. When you consider the scant amount of documents that we have from antiquity, it's actually extremely stunning that we have so many documents about Jesus. It's almost unthinkable that so many were deemed valuable enough to be copied over and over, considering the expense attributed to that. The only reason that this would, uh, the only reason that this would be, is if something really important, like real live divinity in Jesus, actually existed. So. That is the response to why are there no Roman records to Jesus. It's not exactly true that there are no Roman records. This is just a side note. There are some records by historians that lived in the Roman Empire to things that were related to Jesus. So there's not that there's no reference. There's just no reference by the Roman Empire. I guess that'd be a better way to say it. So anyways, thanks for watching.